Welcome back my grade 8 students. Today we will have a new lesson in module 8. The subject of our lesson would be 8a grammar quantifiers. We will need for this lesson student book page 99 and workbook page 109 especially exercises C and D. So please get your books ready and follow me step by step. As for today's lesson, we have three main objectives. One, recognize the functions and uses of some, any, no, accurately. Two, identify the differences between the following sets of quantifiers, a little, a few, much, many, and lots of, a lot of accurately. Consolidate the use of the targeted quantifiers in different activities. Let's begin our lesson with the discussion of these two questions. One, what do we mean by quantifiers and why do we use them? Well, quantifiers are words that are used before nouns to express quantity. Two, can you give some examples of quantifiers? Well, here are some examples. Some, any, no, many, a few, a little, much, all, a lot of, lots of, etc. We can put them in sentences as well. One, I need some apples. Two, I need only a little sugar in my coffee. Before we start our lesson, we need to revise two types of nouns. One, countable nouns. Two, uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that we can count. They have also two forms, singular and plural. For example, pen, singular. Pens, plural. Chair, chairs. Class, classes, and so on. As for the uncountable nouns here, they are nouns that we can't count. They have only one form, singular, as you can see here. Water, sugar, cheese, they are all in the singular form because we can't count them. Part A, read the following rules and examples and learn when and how to use some, any, and no. Rule one, we use some plus uncountable or plural countable nouns in affirmative sentences, polite requests, and offers. Examples 1. There is some water in the bottle. This is an affirmative sentence. 2. Could you give me some water, please? This is a polite request. 3. Would you like some biscuits? This is an offer. Rule 2. We use no which means not any plus uncountable or plural countable noun or nouns in affirmative sentences to give a negative meaning. Example, there is no chocolate in the box, which means there isn't any chocolate in the box. Three or rule three, we use any plus uncountable or plural countable nouns in questions and in negative sentences. Example, is there any orange juice in the fridge? This is a question. Two, there aren't any biscuits on the plate. This is a negative sentence. Now open your student book, page 99, Grammar and Do Activity 2, Part A. Let's begin here. Read the dialogue and match to make rules. A, were there any people in the building during the fire? This is a question and the focus is on any. So, as you can see here, we use any in, in questions and in negative sentences. B. Yes, there were some people on the fourth floor. This is an affirmative sentence and the focus is on some. So what we notice here is that we use some in affirmative sentences, offers and requests. The last part. Fortunately, there were no injuries. What we notice here is that this is an affirmative sentence, but the meaning is negative. So the focus is on no, so we use no in affirmative sentences to give a negative meaning. Practice, complete with some, any, or no. One, there isn't space or in juice left. The best answer is any, why? Because we have a negative sentence, as you see here, isn't. Two, could you please give me space rice with grilled chicken? Here, the best answer is some. Why? Because it is a polite request, could, as you see here. And also we have the word rice. It is uncountable noun. Three, 
Ali has spent all his money and now he has got space money left. So the best answer is no. Why? Because of two things. Number one, spent all his money. And the sentence, he has got no money, is an affirmative sentence, but it has a negative meaning. It means he hasn't got any money. Part B. Read the following rules and examples and learn how and when to use much, many, a little, a few, and lots of, and a lot of. Rule 1. We use much with uncountable nouns in questions and in negative sentences. Example 1. How much sugar do you need for the cake? This is a question. Example 2. We haven't got much money. This is a negative sentence. Rule 2. We use many with plural countable nouns, usually in questions and in negative sentences. Example 1. Are there many chairs in the room? This is a question. Example 2. They don't have many books in the bookcase. This is a negative sentence. Rule 3. We use a few with plural countable nouns in affirmative sentences. For example, there are a few magazines on the table. Rule 4. We use a little with uncountable nouns in affirmative sentences. For example, there is a little cheese on the table. Rule 5. We use a lot of, lots of, with uncountable and plural countable nouns, usually in affirmative sentences. For example, there is a lot of coffee in my tea or in my cup. Uncountable noun. There are lots of apples in the fridge. Countable noun. Now, open your student book, page 99, Grammar, and do activity to part B. B, read the examples and match to make rules. Let's start with example one and example three as well. Why? Because we have a little and much. They are the opposites. One. Mrs. Roberts gave the cat a little water. Example three, we have to hurry. We haven't got much time. What we have noticed here is that we can use much and a little before uncountable nouns like water and time. What about example two and example four? Well, in example two, there weren't many firefighters. Example four, the fire brigade arrived after a few minutes. So what did you see here? Well, what we have noticed here is that we, we can use many and a few before plural countable nouns. Many firefighters and a few minutes. Firefighters and minutes are plural countable nouns. Let's move to the last two examples lots of and a lot of. Lots of boys want to become firefighters and a lot of fire or a lot of fires break out during the summer. What did you notice here? Well, what we can notice here is that we use a lot of and lots of before uncountable or plural countable nouns. Now, we've come to the end of our lesson. Practice be complete with many much, a few, a little, lots of, or a lot of. Question one, how space money have you got in your wallet? The best answer would be here, much. Why? Because the word money is uncountable noun, and also it is a question. Two, there are only space colors in my pink case. Ali took most of them. The best answer would be a few. Why? Because the word colors is a plural countable noun, and we have got also here the word only and the last part and he took most of them three space of people take the bus to work what we notice here is that we have the preposition of and what comes before it is a lot of or lots of for how space pens do you want the best answer is how many pens do you want so Many is the best answer. Why? Because we have got here the word pens. It is a plural countable noun and also it is a question.
five, I need only space sugar in my tea. The best answer is a little. Why? Because the word sugar is an uncountable noun and we have got here also the word only. Kindly do your homework in your workbook page 109 exercises C and D. Also, remember to log into your Microsoft Teams account and do your daily assignment. Waiting to see you again in the upcoming lesson. Good luck.